So in this video, we're going to uncover five arm wrestling exercises that I consider are very bad. So we're going to talk about two on three on the pulley system, one with the barbell and one with the dumbbell. So let's get straight into it. So the first exercise I've seen people use is take a strap and then we kind of wrap it here or here. They come here. They try here. They try to get a balance of the strap without uh, targeting their pronation or supination and by doing this they are kind of let's say they do some slight pressure some dragging and they say well I'm kind of uh, trying to isolate my side pressure or my left drag but I don't need to train my hand that much because I'm training it separately and I want to isolate but in my opinion you should pair your side pressure training with at least one pressure in the hand neither it is with pronation neither it is with spination neither it is with Cupping or using the multi spinner and that would be for sure a great thing. And you're better off training, let's say, using the strap. You're better off training rising or pronation or let's say spination. These kinds of things. How I want you to train your side pressure instead of that is by going into spination. That's my favorite way because I'm a hooker. No, I'm not going to spination. And just like that, just like that, you can keep it static and with sideways or with dynamic. The supination, then you can go to your pronation and just like that, just like that again, static or dynamic. Then you have your multi spin, these are just ideas for you. The low rep or the hooking. Just like that. Again, dynamic work or step work. We'll go there. So this is my first bad armor exercise, and these are the substitutes to do. Uh, again, what I recommend is always pair your side pressure with some kind of cupping or gripping because our uh, side pressure is composed again the tendon but this tendon also contains the muscles of the forearm and by strengthening this we also indirectly increase our side. the second bad armor sling exercise that I see people is do are doing is taking a spinning handle but not a, a normal spinning handle like this they kind of take a let's say a fat grip in my case is this thing I not using spinning handles that much with the fat grips so I kind of throw the fat grip and they grab it or doesn't want to stay they wrap it like this and with the wrist already bent 
and do a lift like this. And do a lift like this. Very bad exercise. In my opinion, you're better off using the one inch handle because they say, oh, I'm targeting my wrist flexion and my uh, grip to it. You're not. First, you need to learn the point of action. So, when the we grab the one inch handle, the force, even if we are cupped, comes right here at the fingers. And the force coming, thank you, Lord, is trying to extend my wrist. But when we grab a fat grip, we move it towards the wrist and it creates compression, bad, and also it stops involving the muscles. Again, better choice will be to use the one inch. For the Mazrenka hand, if you have it, I'm not having that. Very great handle, I've used it only two times. Extremely nice one. But I wouldn't recommend the one again if you're grabbing with a fat angle but with a straight wrist, then you have my respect. All the force is coming on the fingers. People are going to say that they lift 30 to 40 kilos. Man, I've got an insane hook in strength. I can do 30 to 40 kilos on my wrist flexors and my left drag. But when they try to put it on the table against the top roller, boom, just gets extended and pin. That's because you are mostly targeting your legs and you are <coughs> also by cupping the wrist, you are advancing the strength of the left leg. I wouldn't recommend doing this only with the other ankle handle. So stop doing this. That's because it's not targeting your cooking strength, it's targeting your ego. We're going to pause the video because I have to prepare the dumbbell. So pause the So, the next exercise that I've told that people forgive it, it was long ago when people used to do this stupid exercise, but it seems that <coughs> people still didn't stop using it and they still preach it for its efficacy. Let's do a little bit of pause here. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. It has great things to offer you. Check the notification button. Give me a like. It helps me very much. Comment down below any questions that you have. Any kind of interaction is great for me. Your questions, programming, everything you want. Accepting hate. Uh, also, share with your friends. And yeah, subscribe to not lose any more things. So, what I've seen people do even long ago and now is take a dumbbell <coughs> minus six kilos, they kind of come like this and stay close. And boom, nothing. <coughs> the table curl. Stupid, stupid exercise. Of course, you need strong elbow flexion in the starting position, but as you get up here, nothing. It just goes to compression and down and it leaves. It doesn't even. Uh, target the shoulder. It 
targets a little bit of elbow flexion and a little bit of side pressure if you keep the elbow more inside the body but <coughs> it's not enough to be significant come here. I've seen people also do a ton of weight on this exercise <coughs> but it's very bad they say <coughs> but I'm training my hook that's because it's what you want to target because you are supinated and yeah I've never been in a deep hook <coughs> or a press or a top roll where the point of action is coming like that and the weight is stable on your wrist so the guy is not trying to supinate you out flop their wrist to try and flop press flop your wrist in this kind of way bend it back or supinate on you and cut your wrist I've never seen someone <coughs> hook on you like that on <coughs> or attack you like that <coughs> the force is never coming down like this perpendicular the force is always coming in that direction <coughs> it depends how the opponent is hitting but still this exercise is pretty wrong to do better exercises to do well grab the dumbbell and do full range of motion dumbbells these are 10 times better than this this does not have any range of motion anything of course you can train isometrics <coughs> I'm agreeing with isometrics a lot I'm a big fan of them other ways are taking the bench and doing from here and placing it right here to target your side pressure also and by going to a 90 degree angle or going below the 90 degree angle and just like this this is much much better than doing them on the table like this so that was back in the day where people didn't know how to train for arm swing they didn't know about the forearm they all knew about was the bicep big part of arm swing <coughs> especially deep hooking so yeah pause the video and we'll come later another bad armor swing exercise is I don't know how what was it name but I like to call it a perpendicular fake armor swing curve so let's show the execution of it so people squat down point their forearm almost perpendicular or like this but we mostly do it like this and they just squat up and they think oh I targeted my elbow flexion because elbow flexion it works like that in that range of motion and they think oh it's the arm sling starting position also which makes it a great arm sling exercise Pulse. I've also seen people wrapping around their thumb and doing it and also doing I've seen people wrap it around their wrist and through the thumb or like this all of these are bullshit stupid things don't do them because we've got I will explain very fast. So in this position we it depends if you are on table this position will target the bicep a lot. 
but with free weights. Free weights work by using gravity. <coughs> when we are at this angle, this is when we have the most amount of tension. When we are like this, no amount of tension. So, guys, don't do this exercise. Most of guys that are doing this are doing it for their ego because no stability, no side pressure, no bicep, no pronation, nothing. Use no fingers. You're better off doing this on the body system and more range of motion or staying it very close, including your pronation. Things like that. This is a bad armor thing at your side. And please guys, don't do it. So, let's go to the fifth and last arm wrestling exercise. So, the fifth arm wrestling exercise is the... Where can I stay? Right, in fact, the bench. I also explained this in a video of mine going to talk at the end my last video was about this where you grab a barbell and you curl <coughs> very bad thing bad for forearm development bad for trackability bad for form and other things it will give you a lot of pain and I recommend you guys don't do it that's because in the starting position from positive or neutral this is fine but the wrists never bend straight they deviate and we either have to let go of the grip or go through the pain that's a bad thing I can already feel the pain just by zero kilos so for this oh I forgot something to show you for this I've got the barbell one curve like this full range of motion or isometric from this point to this point these are all great this is not great for the fourth exercise you can do by grabbing it like this I like to include a ton of pronation in my program I like training this muscle a ton it has been developing a lot so, and do pronation curves, just like this, or if you really want to do the squat one, just keep the forearm at 90 degrees and boom up, all the weight is attacking our bicep and our pronator, 10 kilos, 10 kilos of forcing the biceps to open here. 10 kilos are forcing nothing. So, in the end, I've got a, another video for you. <coughs> the thing that people often neglect, and it's a big mistake, about the wrist curves. Here was a simple explication. But I've got into detail in my later video, card will be in the wind. The card, please check it. There we talk about mistakes, how to correct them, best ways to progress, and other things. So, as I said, subscribe if you're not, like the video, and see you in the next video.